Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today we are playing the second episode of Cormon Demo. The Cormon Demo, rather. And while I got you here, go ahead, hit subscribe. You're already here, looks like you already like my content. I've got more content, retro game content, retro game guides, monster taming gameplay, things like that. So go ahead, hit subscribe. Moving on, let's get started. So we're heading to get our second Coromon. We got, um, what was the name of it? Patterbit, which is apparently the Luxlur, like, Corp, um, uh, like, that's apparently the mascot. I had to think of the word. All right, so let's see what they have to say. I'm working on the same unit as Larry. He's very smart, but he's such a weird guy. Last week, he asked me to collect smelly mushrooms from Woodlow Forest, and then he used them to make soup. It was delicious, though. Did you already take the personality test in the Corm uh, test in the Cormon lab? I designed it together with Nelson. Cool. Let's go into this building. I like the perspective. It's not. It looks weird if you don't realize that they're rising up. So this is Peter. Here at the Lux Solus or the Lux Solus thing, whatever Lux Solus campus, we research everything about Cormon. Nelson, for example, leads research in compatibility between trainers and Cormon. Nicholas, I chose Toruga. Toruga. Toruga, whatever. I was surprised when it had a different color than most others. Nelson said it it had to do with its potential. And that means my Toruga is a bit stronger than any other Toruga. Picking your first Cormon is so difficult. I mean, once you pick one, you can't just swap it for another, you know? But it'll be your buddy for life. My test results helped me a lot by recommending Cub Zero for me. And we get along great. My Nibbler Gar takes a hit at full HP. It suffers less damage. The fully rested trait is very useful. Be sure to know which traits your Coromon have. Oh. Let's see what traits Patterbit has. Summary. Okay, so. Let's see. Potential. Standard. Oh, it even tells you the potential. That's nice. Look, Solus Campus, Feelers, Patterbit, isn't hold on, anything. Conductor, passive. This Coromon, or the Coromon charges when hit by an electric attack, increasing its speed. Okay, so it's like charges up. Seems like a bot made here. So Patterbit, that's cool. Alright, let's get a move on. Okay. Hmm? What's that smell? What? Oh, hello there. You must be our new colleague. Just give me a moment to finish this process. Right, that should do it. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, introductions. Welcome to the Coromon Lab. My name is Nelson, the inventor and creator of this state-of-art machine behind me. This is your first day as a field researcher, right? It's my job to show you with, uh, to match you with a Coromon. I can't wait. All right, well, let's get right to it then. Before we can start the scan, however, I'll need to gather some measurements. Well, let me see. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Yes, that's all I need for you now. I'll enter in these parameters, and then the machine will scan your brain waves. Uh, with the data we collect, we can advise you on the best possible Coromon choice. Please, step into the matching machine to start the analysis. Okay, I don't want my brain waves scanned, but... Alright, please don't move during the scan or you might lose an arm or two. Or worse, destroy my scanner. I'm starting the first stage of the analysis now. Okay, it's the second stage, we're going to ask you some questions. Then I'll enter your answers into the machine. Please answer as honestly as you can for the best result. Question number one. You encounter a wild Coromon. What's your first reaction? Capture it. I see. I would do that too. Question two. What's your motivation for becoming a Coromon trainer? What? Yeah, I want to become the best trainer. What, what, what kind of crap's here? That's some good motivation right there. Question three. Which of these three attacks appeals the most? Fiery breath, toughen up, inner peace. Toughen up. Not my favorite, but let's continue. 
Question four. Which of these colors appeal to you most? Why are, why are there two blues? Oh. Are there two blues? Mm. Navy blue and cream. Uh, it all depends on what the component colors and the design overall. Arctic blue. I don't like the sound of that. Navy blue. Uh, crimson red. That's the same color as my living room. Huh? Final question. Describe your first ideal date. Museum tour. I don't see how museum tours romantic or than just the inherent I'm on a date thing. All done. You can step out now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake. Good. Why don't you just go over stand over there and I'll tell you the test results. Toruga. This Cormon's very strong. It loves to battle and can learn powerful moves. Nibblegar. The water type Cormon. This Cormon has a high endurance in battles and can outlast most other Cormon. And finally, the Ice Coromon Cub Zero. This Coromon is a jack of all trades. It's the perfect balance between offense and defense. Now for the test results. The test results show multiple options would be a good match. Fire Coromon Toruga uh, would be a good match for you. But the Water Nibblegar surely getting you far. This makes it hard to choose, right? Why don't you take a closer look? Pick one you like the most. Details. I love tortoises. I love turtles. And that thing moves in all the right ways. I do want to check something else though. I'm going to be honest, I wanted to make sure they weren't potential or perfect. Tor, tor. Should I say char, char? I love tortoises. It's a good color. I'm picking Taruga. Your name's Taruga? No, no. no. Uh, I, I don't know, I freaked out. Yes, cancel it. Bam. Great choice. I had a feeling that you'd pick Taruga. Before you head out, be sure to check which trait your Taruga has in the menu. Cormon variant traits. A fight with the trigger will greatly depend on which trade it has. Speaking of which, you must be aching to try a battle with your new Coromon. Oh, uh, why don't we have a trial battle uh, at the training grounds? Take the manual first. It shows the type effectiveness of the different Coromon types in Velula. <sighs> oh. Oh, bad signal. One second. There we go. So. Alright, so hold on. Normal. Two damage. None. 0.5. 0.5. 2. Okay. I know I'm taking a little bit slow. Magic. There's a magic type? That's two ghost. So on you have normal, electric, ghost, sand, fire, ice, water, magic, foul, heavy, air, poison, cut. Okay. So fire, of course, is from... Heavy, fire, ice. Two damage damage from these two, but it can, okay. Sounds good. Yep. Boom. There we go. 
here we are at the battlegrounds. Let's find out how well you you and your Coromon. So I've brought my Nibblegar with me as the same level as your Toruga for a fair fight. You know, down of, on the skills of your Coromon to see a detailed overview. Make sure you try it out. Good luck. Ready? And go. Slam. The attacker slams his body against the other at full force. Cute pose. Of course, SP is up here. HP is down left. Mm -hmm. Chomp. I just don't want it. Oh, God. I... I don't want to lose my Taruga. Hopefully this doesn't make me lose it since it's just a training. Critical hit. Oh. Attack decreased. Chomp. Cute pose. I'm going to lower its defense. Let's get it. Slam. Critical hit. Yes, chomp. Okay. Wish we had the Pokemon Stadium announcer. Slam. Yeah. There we go. I don't like how close I was, so I have to keep in mind not to. Though. Hey, 119. Up to level 6. Alright, so my SP goes up by 1. HP by 1. Speed by 1. All of them move up by 1. Sweet. Ooh. You got me. Ooh, 49 gold. That was a great battle. You seem to have chosen the right Coromon. Don't worry about your ni my Nibblegar. I'll just take it to the local trainer hub where they can take care of my Coromon. Uh, your Coromon got hurt as well in retro games. But luckily your squad didn't faint. Here, you can restore some health points with this HP cake. A small HP cake. And your Coromon also has stamina points, or SP. In short, after using its skills in battle. You can check the opponent's SP as well by pressing on the name tag. You also see more useful info. If you quickly want to use a cake or some other item, you could bind the item for easy access. Just hold down the secondary button, then unbind. You simply hold down the button. It's already bound. Quite easy. Yep. I've already done that, actually, in a previous episode, accidentally. Now you should return to the R&D lab and find Regal. Uh, he specifically asked for you to be on his team, so... It will be brief on your first assignment as a Lux Solus Field Researcher. Goodbye for now. Shine bright. Remember my first battle here. It's not as easy. There's so much to consider. SP, costs, skills, HP, NSP of your Coromon, and those of your cor your opponent. But that's just a matter of time. If you keep doing doing Coromon battles, you'll get better. Secret weapon in battle is Vanya with the Coromon. I just won my first, very first battle. I hope the others finish soon so I can get done practice battle. What's this? What's this? Oh yeah. Um. Better not lose my Toruga. What? 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 Oh. 
I thought the two was stopping. Hello. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm going to buy five of those. Buy five of those. Get two more of those. Uh, oh, I don't need to. You know what I need to do? Um, I'm buying items because the short amount of ones I'll have. I mean, a few, like, regular, like, seven, that's fine. But I do need to buy these. Because I have, um, thanks to the insane setting I have on. Shine bright. Sure, bud. Let's go. Little dude's running like a maniac. What the... Is this a healing? Did I heal when I didn't have to? What? What? What's this? Is this what I think it is? It's percent like a. That really looks like a trading thing. Da -da 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 -da. I want the trainer up. Would you like to take it? Sure. Why not? I could have just saved those. Oh, gold one. That's cool. What's this? Ooh, nice. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's up here. We're setting up training exercises for all Lux Souls field researchers so they can do their work more efficiently. Oh, okay. Guess up. Oh, yes. Um, I think I'm supposed to go here. Peter. Nicholas. No, so I'm supposed to go Here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Believe so. Up, 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 bam, bam. Ah, yes. Retro games. I'll see you on the video feed. One moment, I'll come and get you. Welcome Retro Games HQ. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. My name is Regale, head of this R&D lab. Nice to meet you too. I'll be learning a thing or two during your training now, because I have big things planned for you. I'm sure you can handle it. I'll explain more in the privacy of my restricted access area. Because of possible radiation exposure, you're required to wear a lab coat. Follow me, please. I'm just, I just have a lab coat to cover the radiation. Welcome to the restricted access area. Impressive. No? What am I looking at? This here? It's what Project Chimera. Oh, Chimera. Ooh. It's all about. It's just Titan essence. This comes from a Titan? Indeed. Our team is dedicated on unraveling the uh, mysteries behind Titan essences. A team to which you will be a valuable addition. Me? Yes, you, you showed great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned to this team. As you can see, this device is not capable of stabilizing the enormous power surges of the Titan Essence. As a consequence, the Titan Essence will slowly disintegrate over time. You can imagine it makes it hard to discover its secrets. Over the past few years, my team worked hard to overcome this complication, and recently we made a massive breakthrough. We developed a gauntlet module which is able to stay safe or is able to safely contain Titan Essence while keeping it stable. It's impressive. This module, the Essence Collector, will bring us one step closer to the understand to understanding Titan Essence. That's where you come in. You will be equipped with the Essence Collector and assist us in gathering the Titan Essences. I see. 
Uh, where can I find these Titan Essences? Come, I'll show you. Titan Essences are embedded within elemental Titans, creatures of immense power. Six of them are known to be in Belua, and we've located all of them. If we manage to contain all six of them together in the new Essence Collector, collector we believe we can discover their full potential. There are six of them? Sounds like a challenge. It will be a challenge, but I have a faith in your abilities. I know you will complete this task successfully. I won't let Lux Solace down. Tucko, could you bring me the module? Of course. Here you go, Retro Games. The Essence Collector. Handle it with care. Yay. The first Titan Essence you will extract is the Titan Essence of Volkgar, the Bender of Storms. You see the Donar Island in the southeast, so for those, that's the bottom right of the map. There, in Power Tower, Volgar bends the weather and guides thunderstorms towards the island. Before you can use the Essence Collector module, you need to get it installed into your gauntlet. That's a precise task. There's only one person in Velua who's able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin. 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 Whatever you want to call him. A good friend of mine. He's working at a black as as a blacksmith in Havel. Havel. Perrin the blacksmith. Got it. How do I get there? Havel lies just beyond Radiant Park. Uh, when you have the module installed, the colleague in Woodlow Harbor, uh, Woodlow Harbor will take you across the water to Donar Island. Before you go, would you be so kind of hand over your Lux Recall RC to Casey? She just stand outside door. I'll contact you on your phone if anything comes up. Good luck, Retro Games, and shine bright. There she is. Hello, your case is right. Uh, Regal asked me to hand this over to you. Thank you. Yes, Lux Recall technology is my field of expertise. It's a marvelous phenomenon on teleportation. It would take me some time to explain how it works, though. Why don't you just try it out for yourself? I have some regular re uh, Lux Recall gadgets here for you. Since you're playing on insane difficulty, you're not allowed to use them. So take the gold they're worth instead. If you find any others during your ventures, remember that you can sell them any shop. Speaking of shops, be sure to stock up on your supplies before you set out on the adventure. Better safe than sorry, right? Shine bright. Good idea. I'll go check out the shop. Shine bright. Oops. Alright, guys. That is it for this episode. I'll be making more episodes of this demo. It's actually really good. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be seeing you next game, uh, you know, the next uh, episode. So, well, retro on.